So I wanted to do a, a little video of a one week ownership of the King Room. Um, my opinion of it hasn't changed. It's still a terrific printer. And again, especially for $149, you, I have not had a failed print yet. Um, I've done at least 30 prints. Again, like I said, I do a lot of smaller stuff. So I'm not doing any, a lot of huge prints, but I, I did do an eight plus hour print and it came out just fine. And I did a couple more uh, five and a half hour prints for work, two of them. Um, I'm loving it. It's, it's, it's a great printer so far. No issues to report. Um, I thought I'd just go over the menu a little bit real quick. I know it's probably been done before, but I'm just really impressed with what you get for the money. So this is basically the main menu and you have, a, you know, the options. You can preheat um, your heated bed, but you can change that in increments of 1C, 5C, or 10C up and down. Then if you hit the heated bed, it'll swap to the extruder. And the same thing, increments of 1C, 5C, or 10 Closing shuts it off. You go back, you can do the leveling. You can move your axis. Go the wrong way. That's the bed. And again, it's 1.11 1. 1 or 10 millimeter movement. Uh, home, you can home all axis. I typically like to leave it up before I start a print. That way I can reach in there and pull off, uh, pull out any extra material. Um, so I'm going to take it back up here in a second once it gets done doing this thing. I have started printing TPU with it with no issues. I've, I've slowed it down just like I would with any of my other printers. So I'll move that Z back up out of the way. So this is Ninja, the che Cheetah Ninja Ninja Tech material, um, TPU, printing just fine. I'll show you some more here in a minute. Um, I'm actually going to get a print going here, so I'll just kind of walk you through my steps of getting a print going. So I'm going to go back to home. Um, I'm going to go to, I'm going to actually extrude a little material out because it's been sitting for a few minutes. So I'm going to go to extrude. Uh, and the extrude function, again, it's 1, 5, or 10 millimeters, but then you can also pick the speed at which you want to extrude, which is kind of nice because with the TPU, it doesn't want to slip. So I'll do like a normal speed, 5 millimeters. I just want to start to uh, get the plastic flowing a little bit. So I'm going to hit end. It's actually extruding, you just can't hear it, it's so quiet. I don't know. You can see it up here. I'm gonna change it to 10 millimeters. Oh, there it goes. So this is TPU. I've printed several different brands of TPU without issue. Now uh, there is some stringing just like any of my other printers. I mean, it doesn't print it in any lesser quality than in my other two printers. In fact, I've never printed uh, TPU on my Robo. I'm sure it could do it, but I have not done it. Um, I like the really short Bowden boat, boat, tube. I'm sure that maybe helps a little bit because my other printer has a really long Bowden tube, which you know, is not always the best thing in the world. So I'll clean that off and I'll just go down here to go back to the main menu. I'll go to print and then these are the files on your micro SD card. I know this files towards the end. So this is uh, what I'm going to print now is an EC5 battery cover, which is like for uh, RC car, planes, uh, helicopter, battery connector, just to help keep it from being shorted out inadvertently. So I just click on what I want to print, hit confirm, and it's pretty quick. That's what I love about too. It just goes. Not a lot of messing around. Oops. So the printer head's coming down. I'm going to try to get every last drop of this uh, material off. 
Gonna touch down one time and it's just gonna take off here. And again, I am printing pretty slow because it's TPU. The heated bed material has held up fairly well. I have noticed that if you try to take it off when it's too warm, it's not a good thing. I've caused some cracks on the, the magnetic side. And I think that's kind of my fault because I was trying to force the top bed material off of the bottom and I kind of put a crease in it, but it's printing fine. I usually just let it cool a little bit and then I just take it a little easier on it. I do like the texture that it, it gives to the bottom of the part also. And so there's a little bit of texture on the heated bed. I'll see if I can show you some of this. I'm just going to show you some of the TPU parts I printed in the last couple of days. Nothing, nothing else really. But these are TPU. This is the Ninja Flex. This is at 0.3. So it's uh, draft quality, but again, it's still super, in my opinion, really nice. Um, here's some like translucent green ones. Good quality. I guess I should take them out and show you a little closer. But let me set this camera down and watch the print for a minute. Yeah, so there's the translucent green TPU. Print's really nice. This does a really good job. The first layer is always really nice. Um, you know, obviously a lot of the things with the 3D printers is making sure that your slicing software is set up properly for the type of material that you're uh, printing. And obviously the design has an influence on that also. But like I said, overall, man, I'm super happy with this printer. I, uh, I did ditch the stock filament holder and I just uh, had something I designed for work that I'm using this randomly kind of works out for what I'm doing here. So I can put two rolls up there and it's worked out really well. Again, if you're uh, considering getting a 3D printer or even a second printer, this King Room 180 by 180 by 180 is proving to be a pretty darn good printer. All right, guys, thanks for watching.